Let me ask you this question. How many people have ever been hanging a picture and you needed to nail a nail into the wall and you used your shoe? Anybody ever done that? You just do the heel of your shoe. My mom would do that all the time. Take off your shoe, Jeff. I got to hang a picture. Like, wow, I didn't know that's what that was for. You know, that's what they do. Because it's just easy. I don't want to get the hammer. I just got your shoe. Can you imagine going to a construction site, first day on the job? <laughs> Guys got their belts, a big hammer. You got your shoe. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm re- ready to nail. I'm a shoe. Like, well, what's up with that? See, if you're going through life and God made you to be a shoe, not a hammer, then don't be hammering nails. Hit the dance floor. Do something that this shoe was intended to do. You say, well, Jeff, how can I figure that out? Okay, let me give you three ways where you can figure out, like Jeremiah heard from God, where you can hear from God what you're supposed to do. Number one, God's will is revealed by diligently seeking Him. Jeremiah 29 Verse 13, and you will seek me and find me when you search for me with all your heart. What a wonderful promise from God. And you will seek me and find me when you search for me with all your heart. If you will diligently seek after God, if you will diligently call upon the Lord, if you will diligently spend time in His Word, God promises you'll find me. You'll find me. It's not a needle in the haystack. I'm not playing the shell game, but I am trying to weed out those who aren't serious. It's for those who diligently seek me. God says you'll find me. And if you find God, you'll find what He wants you to do. Secondly, God's will is revealed by humbly submitting to Him. John 7, 17 is a great verse. It's a principle, a great principle found that helps people understand what does God want for me. Jesus said, if any man is willing to do his will, he shall know of the teaching whether it is of God. If any man is willing to do his will, are you willing to do the Lord's will? You know why God doesn't reveal to lots of people when they are uh, faced with a challenge, faced with uh, an issue? Okay, I I have a job over here or a a job in this city or a job in that city. I can do this or I can do that. I can go to this school or I can go to that school. And uh, I can marry this person or I can hopefully wait for somebody better. They, They have these choices. And they pray, God, you show me what you want me to do. And the Lord says this, are you willing to do my will? Or do you just want me to rubber stamp your will? Has your mind already made up? Have you already decided what you're going to do and you just bring it before me and you want me to rubber stamp your will? Because God says, I don't own a rubber stamp. I'm not going to rubber stamp your will. If you're willing to do my will, then I'll reveal it to you. Because if you're not willing to do it, what's the point? I mean, you think about that from God's perspective. God is going to give us all this knowledge of what He wants us to do and then what we decide if we want to do it or not. See, the Lord knows everything. He knows if you're not going to do it, I'm not going to tell you what it is. What's the point? You're going to do whatever you want to do anyway. But if any man is willing to do his will, he shall know of the teaching whether it is of God. Jesus said, not my will, but thine be done. And he humbly submitted to the Father's will. 